Let's go. Welcome to 10 Minute Labs. I didn't mean to scare you. Now. I was like, let's 10 minute abs. Woo, 10 minute abs. Yes. We're gonna do we're gonna do 100 set of abs That's of cool. 20 abs. I'll die. And talk at the same time. And talk at the same time. Oh yeah, that's it. Yes. not gonna happen. All right, let me set a timer. Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. Let's see. And I just get to talk just for 10 minutes straight. And then go. Say whatever you want now. <laughs> This is <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, Mel, thanks for being here. You're from yes. the Seattle area, right? Yes, I'm not in the Seattle area. I am in the city of Seattle and rather arrogant about it. Oh. Right oh, here in nice. Seattle. Nice. Even better. Well, yes. let's get right into it. The world changed quickly over the last six months, but then it started picking up for most real estate agents, right? Yeah. What's been your biggest challenge over the last 60 days or so? Yeah, so it the kind of the trauma of the pivot, um, I was like, I got this, right? It's like, we, I got to go. And I think in the last 60 days, it's been like, whoa, who knows how long this weird world is going to last. Yeah. And that has been tough to, to really be like, Oh, some of that temporary stuff and energy I've been living off of and like just temporary tweaks. It's time to really get into my systems deeper and yeah, probably change some things in a thinking a lot more further than I was. Okay. So let's go into the temporary tweaks because I think everybody does that. They're like, Oh, that's that, that can do it for now. And then later it's like, you can fix it, but that's not happening now. So go into the temporary tweaks. What are you, specifically talking about when it comes to tweaks for you? Okay, well, probably not the most intentional, but in, in my survival, one of my um, things is that, so I came to working at home, which I didn't used to do. And um, I have four kids, they're all at home. No one was used to us being in the same space together. Uh -huh. And I made um, I, I became really disorganized and just flying by the seat of my pants, which the honest truth is a lot of entrepreneurs do very well, but it does not pan out for a long time. So that's where I'm like, Ooh, that's amazing. I've been able to sell all these homes during this, but I cannot keep working as, um, I need new systems. Yeah. All right. Let's let's go into that because you said you have four kids. What ages? Yes, from three to sixteen. They scan mm -hmm. over thirteen years. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. All right. So kids. Yeah. They're demanding, right? And they take yeah. up a lot of our energy, a lot of our, um, a lot of our mind space. Mm -hmm. And so, how do you, if you can, balance that so that you're you, you're still working because I find that's a big challenge in, in every industry, but in ours, let's go into ours. How do you do that with kids and, and having that strength and energy to keep going in real estate? Yeah, I am pretty spoiled. Um, well, one of my, my first and goal that I ever set in real estate was to make enough money that my husband could quit construction. And so he is our primary homemaker he writes homemaker in on you know what he what his job is now so i am i'm really um that's pretty amazing and i know not a lot of people have that um the flip side of that is i'm the only one bringing in the bacon for the six of us ah. and so um our gender roles aren't very traditional mm -hmm. um but they are pretty clearly divine like, like to find our roles okay um but like today the kids were losing it. And I was like, well, I have to pull this out of my schedule. It's not a client appointment and just take everybody to five guys. Like, yeah. I to five. well, wait, I wanted no. it. I wanted five guys. This, this is, this is 10 minute abs. What are you going to five guys for? Come on. 10 minute abs. I went to five guys earlier. <laughs> so good. So yeah. Wow. It's, you know, it, there is no balance, right? I mean, it is just. Well, I think, I think that's where the balance is, Mel, right? It's yeah. like, sometimes you, you, the balance is just, it looks like this. This is life, yeah. right? Yeah. But you have to get it in. I think that's what happens. You right. have to get the family time in. You have to get the work time in. 
you have to get the you time in. So let's talk about you time. Where does that fit into all of this? Oh, I'm just not awesome at that, to be honest. Um, That's good. We're all working on something. So right now, like it's really simple stuff. Like, okay, I'll go to sleep right now. That's like a thing that takes care of me. Like I, it's 1130. I should go to sleep. Mm -hmm. um, drinking a lot of water. I'm not kidding. I'm making some simple choices right now that are like my self care. So that's what it is. That you yeah. Put it right there. I think most of us look at changes as something big, right? Yeah. But it's all of these little things. Everybody listening in, pick up the book Atomic Habits. You'll see what yeah. I mean by, by James Clear. So now let's let's go into that even more. Sure. Which is you're having challenges. We all have challenges, different for all of us in COVID. Yep. What are you excited about for end of this year, beginning of 2021? I shifted mm -hmm. it from challenges to excitement. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite tricks uh, with stress is to just shift the word into excitement. Ooh. Right. It's so powerful. So um, what I'm excited about is um, finding, trying, failing at the new systems and um, and just, you know, getting a little more settled into this okay. way. What, yeah. what new systems are you putting in place that you're excited about or that you're looking into? Sure. Well, um, before COVID, I had 65 hours a week of in-person administrative support on my team. Whoa. Yeah. And I now have zero hours of in-person. No one's in this bathroom with me. <laughs> um, in-person support. And so I am still very much adjusting there. So um, getting the proper virtual um, administrative support in a way that they can train me to do what I need to do to make it work. I still haven't watched the webinar yet on how to train. You have a YouTube video. On how oh, I'll send you that one. That one was really good. Yeah. So that's one of the things I'm most excited about is just having a better flow in place. All right. I love that. And let's talk about you working in your bathroom because I think that's absolutely awesome. Yeah. You found a spot where you can work and be left alone and you're not ashamed of it. No. Nope. Congratulate you on that because we all need that yeah. spot wherever it is. Right? Yeah, I mean, I was ashamed for like a week, but um, <laughs> that was it. Yeah, what can you do in Seattle? Right in, like I said, arrogant about living right in the city. We don't have very big homes here in the in the city, and so and I there's you know we're in like twenty three hundred square feet with six of us. So this yeah. bathroom had not yet been remodeled, and it happens to be the the master <laughs> bath in this mid century, and so. It's two doors away from the three-year-old. And I put a little stop sign on Velcro out on the bedroom door when I'm working. And then they know not to touch and to back up. And this is where I work, yeah, in this bathroom. All right, how do, you, how do you keep going? How do you stay motivated? Because so much happens yeah. in our business. How do you keep going? Uh, I lean heavily on, um, you know, uh, friends in Marco Polo. I'll, like. Ooh check out, it's like I'm hanging out with them. If I can just do a little dump into Marco Polo and people go, oh man, I see you, I know that's so hard. That really helps me. I love that. Guys, listening in, everyone, ladies, gentlemen, yes. Marco Polo is an app and you communicate via short video excerpts. You can take a look and talk back to each other, almost like if you're there. So take a look at Marco Polo. Great, all right, what advice are you gonna give to agents Veteran, old, older, newer, younger, all, all ages, what do you think the opportunities are at the end of this year and next year? What, what can you say, hey, you need to be doing this. Yeah. What would that be? Um, uh, cool. Well, mm, this is like a negative way to say it, but quit um, looking at all the things that don't work anymore mm -hmm. and look for the yeses and look for the new opportunities. I have... I can't tell you how many um, people are making huge life shifts because of this pandemic. People are ready to finally go live in the islands or they can go, at least for me as someone who's in this metro area, 
like, oh, now we'll go live in the woods. Or, you know what, we want a second home because we got to get out of here, but we can't like fly all the time. That doesn't work for us. There are so many opportunities right now for people that are rethinking their lives. And that involves us. We are the transition specialists. That's what we do. We come in and transition and we help people through it because everybody we work with is going through one. So just look for those people in transition and those opportunities are right there in front of you. Look at that. Perfect timing. That was solid. All right, everybody listening in, if you have any referrals that are heading over to Washington, think of Mel. She covers Seattle. Yes. So I'll actually, go outside of the city to work with people. Just, like, uh, just when you think of Washington, just think of Mel and just yeah, send her everything. If she doesn't cover it, she'll let you know who to send. I'll it. let you know. Yeah. Mel, thank you so much for, for being here, for helping out in Lab Code Agents because you're also an admin and a moderator. So thank yes. you for that. See all the crazy stuff, stuff that happens. Yes. And I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you, Tristan. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.